What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you some Moab gameplay on the map Arkaden using the P90 Extended Mag Suppressor But uh, I don't really think the class setup is too important to be honest with you guys And uh, sorry for the squeaking of my chair if you guys can hear it, I need a new chair so uh, it doesn't squeak when I do commentaries But uh, um, after watching a commentary from a commentary named Ronaldinho1224 yeah, I titled this video, uh, all, all Good Things Must Come to an End, and, uh, if you, I kind of recommend going, go watch that commentary real quick, so you kind of know what I'm talking about, and get the gist of what I'm saying, and the reason for that is that, um, it's kind of, you can kind of hear it from his point of view, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a really good player, and, uh, you know, he kind of grew famous off of Wings Redemption for, uh, you know, getting noticed as being a, an amazing player. Uh, but the point of his little commentary was the fact that he, he his first Call of Duty was World at War, um, a Call of Duty series that's been around since Call of Duty 1, pretty much became known in Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 4, uh, Call of Duty 4 is pretty much where it, uh, you know, kicked off. My first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2, so I was kind of, and I was a Christmas noob, so I never played the game, so my really, really my first Call of Duty, I guess, was Black Ops that I actually played. I never really played Modern Warfare 2 until the last month it was out, before Black Ops came out. <laughs> but besides the point, um, he was saying that, not that the Call of Duty commentators and gameplay on YouTube itself has died, but the Call of Duty title and like you know the whole entire call of duty name has kind of died like the game itself but it hasn't died really because it's selling you know it's breaking records every single call of duty that comes out every new year a different call of duty comes out and it's breaking records and uh you know it, it can't be something wrong with the game or else people wouldn't be buying it but the reason for that is that what he went to go and say was that people that have been playing this game for so long have lost interest because that's all that you play and it's like the game's not as fun as what it used to be because it, it's it's the same game every year it's just it's just like he, what he said a different map pack I don't completely agree with that the game's different every year but it's got its similarities to, to the point where it's just like I can tell that this is a Call of Duty title and it's the same game that came out last year just different company that makes it really that's all it is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, they're very similar. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. Um, th they're made to be similar, and they're made by the same company until this year, but the same company still helped make it this year, too, so it still has that uh, still Infinity Ward feeling. And, uh, you know, he's saying that... Uh, how do I word this properly without coming off uh, it's like stupid? Um... That with the game, with like with it coming out every year, that people are, are just going to get bored of the same thing every year. And I'm, I'm a victim of that. Yes, I do get bored of this game from time to time. It's because I don't play anything else. And the reason that everyone enjoys their first Call of Duty so much, just think about what was your first Call of Duty? Like, what was the very first one that got you hooked on the series itself? Mine was Modern Warfare 2. I love that game. When I first got it, I never really played it. I played it like once or twice online. I was like, ah, whatever. You know, it's cool. I'll go play the rest of my games that I have. And, you know, I never really thought to play it very often because <coughs> it never got my attention until one day I was sick off of school and I just couldn't put the controller down. I was like, wow, this, I love this game. It really is amazing. But why is it that Call of I don't have that same feeling. I just... I cannot put down the controller. I just love the game so much that it's, you know, I can't wait to get home from school or class to play the game. I can't wait to get off work to play. You know what I mean? Like, why is that? That I don't have the same feeling. And the reason for that is that it's, it's the same thing. And you're playing it for how many years straight since I've, I've been playing this game for, well, I guess since Modern Warfare 2, which is, I guess, coming up on, what, three years now? So... It's like playing the same game for three years. Even though they're all different games, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, at least the past three years, if you've been playing it longer since World at War or COD 4 or even COD 3 or 2, trust me, you're going to be knowing what I'm talking about for sure. But um, it's kind of hard for people who play it consistently, like are the veterans of Call of Duty, to um, come out and say that they're not 
frustrated with the game itself and that it's not dying inside them. And what I mean by that is that the the feeling of like your first Call of Duty, why is it never the same? Pe most people that introduced into Call of Duty 4 say Call of Duty 4 is probably the best game. Now, I wouldn't know that, but Modern Warfare 2 was the prime of the prime for me. I've never had so much fun with the game since. And I just can't not capture that feeling because it's it's over and over, there's the same thing that I'm playing. Now, me personally, I'm still enjoying the Call of Duty series, but I have those points where it's just, I wish I could capture that moment again, that, that feeling where I just can't wait to put in a disc. Yeah, I play Modern Warfare 3 a lot, I enjoy it, I think it's a good, fun game, and I'm, you know, it, it was worth my buck to spend, but it, it's not like when I first got Modern Warfare 2. Now, that game's extremely frustrating now, I have a really hard time going back to it now, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about for the most part, and uh, you know, that was a fairly quick Moab too. Tell me what you guys think of this. Anyways, have a nice day guys. Peace.